guys what's up all right so I, I got something cool for you um if you guys are interested in building a relatively cheap budget pc for gaming um i picked up this board here from micro center um they do sell it on amazon as well but i got it from micro center i do have one in my uh, city i have a few actually uh but it's the uh, Asus Prime B450M A2, and uh, basically, um, this is going to replace my Gigabyte B460 um, motherboard, which uh, I'll show you guys. It's this one here, um, excellent board. It's currently paired with the i5. Uh, 10,000 for uh, 400k sorry um, I had 32 gigs of RAM in it and you know it works great um, uh, the, the biggest disappointment for me is that um, I'm seeing a lack of full resolution with my my RAM so basically I'm not getting the full capacity of the RAM uh, 32 gigabytes I'm getting about 29 gigabytes because the processor um, does not support the full full amount um, so basically the reason I have the board is because um, like I said Micro Center has this board on sale but it's this guy the AMD Ryzen five uh fifty six hundred x uh if you purchase this cpu you're gonna get this board you're gonna get both for one ninety one plus tax two hundred eight dollars uh it's a steal all right um and basically here's my current case it's the Cors uh sorry corsair two hundred r uh very large case but it's a great case, um, excellent for business, excellent for day to day, very good case for gaming. Um, it doesn't, you know, obviously it's not see-through panel. So if you're doing RGB uh, and you want RGB, this is not the case for you. But for just a casual gamer, everyday user, this case is awesome. Um, they are hard to find, so you'll have to shop around. Um, it's right now. I have a 500 power watt. 500 watt power supply sorry from EVGA uh, excellent power supply for just your everyday usage and gaming no issues there and then I have a couple of drives mostly Samsung's um, real quick I'm gonna show you guys what comes in the box so there's a little seal there which I just cut in the box there's the board all right you get two SATA cables that come with it it supports up to six so you get two remove right. the board Get your IO shield. So because it's a budget board, the IO shield is not built in. You do have to line it up uh, a little more on the old old school side with that, or should I say budget side? Um, but we're not lazy, right? So we can do that. Um, you get some screws and nuts. Your manuals and your ROM your chipset uh, support This is what you're getting. A 
and you're getting the back panel I.O. port, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, HDMI, DVI, Realtek, three audio jacks, BIOS flashback button, So very excited to get this in there. I'm gonna put in the uh, AMD CPU, install Windows, and we're gonna have ourselves a brand new gaming PC for uh, for almost no money. Um, yeah, excited. All right, guys. If you have any questions about this board once it's up. I'll be happy to answer. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.